Freedman's Village was a community for formerly enslaved people, built during the Civil War on the grounds of Arlington Estate, now the grounds of Arlington National Cemetery. Following the Emancipation Proclamation and the prohibition of slavery in the District of Columbia in 1862, many enslaved African Americans from the Confederacy fled to Washington, D.C. seeking freedom. Newly freed African Americans from the rebelling Confederate states often settled in Army Freedmen's camps throughout the city. These men, women, and children were refugees, having fled the only home and communities they knew in search of a new and better life. The camps were established not only to help integrate newly freed African Americans into society, but also to prevent African Americans from creating permanent integrated communities in racially segregated Washington, D.C. As more people arrived, however, the camps quickly became overcrowded and conditions deteriorated. In May 1863, the military chose Arlington Estate as a site for a new camp known as Freedman's Village, which was intended to serve as a model community for freed people. The village was designed as a place where newly freed people could temporarily live while they learned trade skills before moving on to permanent homes. However, many residents took pride in the life and community they built at Freedman's Village and stayed for many years. The community included 50 one and a half story residences, a hospital, churches, schoolhouses, a laundry, and a home for the elderly. Originally built to house 600 residents, the population fluctuated between 1,000 and 3,000 over the years. Able adult villagers who were not employed elsewhere could work on the government farms and construction projects for $10 per week, half of which was taken for a general fund to maintain the village. Although the village operated many farms, produce from those farms was sold to consumers in Washington, D.C., and residents sometimes subsisted on the military rations. The government attempted to close Freedman's Village as early as 1868, but the village survived until 1887. By then, land in Arlington had become desirable for development, and support for integrating African Americans into society waned. Residents began moving away and in 1900, Congress officially closed the village, authorizing payment for the homes owned by residents. Today, no physical trace of the village remains. Yet while the buildings of Freedman's Village were torn down, the community that residents built did not collapse. Residents used what they had learned during their time to form other black communities in the Arlington area. Organizations that began in the village and continue in Arlington today include the Grand United Order of the Odd Fellows, and Mount Olive and Mount Zion Baptist Churches. Freedman's Village was located here in sections 4, 8, 20, and 24.